All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about um, how to use a proportion to find percent of a number. So, you know, if I ask you to find 30% of 400, let's say, um, can we use a proportion to do that? So let's remind ourselves um, what a proportion is. So um, you can find percent of a number using a proportion. First, let's talk about what is a proportion. A proportion is a pair of fractions that are equivalent, like this, two thirds and four sixths. These are equivalent fractions, they equal each other. And so if you write fraction equals fraction, that's a proportion. And um, the cool thing about proportions is if you multiply this denominator by this numerator, you get a number. And if you multiply this denominator by this number, uh, this numerator, you get the same number. And that's how you can tell that a proportion actually works, that two thirds and four sixths actually do equal each other. If um, they fractions weren't equal to each other, you know, like one half and two thirds, then we would multiply here and we would get four. We would multiply here and we would get three and these do not equal each other. So that proportion doesn't work. Um, so um, let's talk about how we can use a proportion. So every proportion in the percent problem is um, a percent out of 100. So like 30%, 50%, 60%, that would be the number in the numerator is equivalent to the fraction of the part and the whole. That's the idea. The percent out of 100 is equivalent to the part compared to the whole. Um, so, you know, if you have um, 20 bucks out of 40, right? So if you have 20 bucks out of 40, we would say, well, how much money do you have? You have 50% of the 40 that you need. So that would be 50 out of 100, right? And 20 bucks out of 40 um, equals 50. So if I multiply here, I get 2,000. If I multiply here, I get 2,000. And so you can tell, oh yeah, 20 bucks, 20 out of 40 is 50%. Okay, so let's talk about um, how we use a proportion if we don't know one of the numbers. Okay, so we're gonna do this um, example with uh, three different amounts. So um, the first one is, um, it says to find 60% of 400. So the first thing we wanna do is, remember with percent over 100 equals part over whole. So we need to find the part, the whole, and the percent. So one of these is going to be unknown. It's gonna be a, the thing we are trying to figure out. And so we're gonna use a variable for it. So first of all, it says find 60% of 400. Okay, well, I know that 60% is my percent, of course. 400, is 400 the whole thing or is it the part? Is it the 100% or is it the 60%? And I'm gonna go over to the percent bar and I'd like you to do the same and let's put, um, 0%, 100%, and we'll put 60% right here. Okay, so let's think about this. Where would the 400 go? It says find 60% of 400. Well, I think if it's we're finding 60% of 400, that means 400 would be the whole thing, right? It would be the entire percent bar. Okay, so that means that 400 is going to be our whole, which means this is our part. It's our unknown thing. It's the thing we are not sure about. We don't know what 60% of 400 is as a number. So once we've figured that out, then we can fairly easily write our equation. So the percent, remember it's, um, let me write this up here, percent out of 100 is equal to the part over the whole. So this would be 60%, so 60 out of 100 is equivalent to x out of 400. And now you say, okay, we've written our proportion, but how do we figure out what X is? Well, the answer is we're going to, it's called cross multiplying. We're gonna multiply the denominator by the other numerator. Um, so 400 times 60, that's going to be 24,000. And 100 times X, that's going to be 100 X. And because this is a proportion and because they equal each other, then these numbers should equal each other. Well, then once we have this, it's just a matter of how do we figure out what X is? 
Well, X is being multiplied by 100. So how do we undo that? Well, we divide both sides by 100. And we would get that X is equal to 240. So that means that 240 would be the number um, down here. That is 60% out of 400. So for example, if there were 400 students in the grade and 240 of them showed up for the school dance, you'd say, oh, well, 60% of the students showed up. 60% of 400 is 240. All right, let's do another example. Um, you have raised $1,200 out of 2,000. What percent have we raised? So let's say this is a school fundraiser, that kind of thing. Um, we need to figure out the part, the whole, and the percent, and I want to set it up on our percent bar. Um, so of course, our percent bar always has 0% and 100%. Um, so we've raised 1,200 out of 2,000. Well, so 2,000 is going to be the whole. And 1,200 is going to be the part that we've raised. So I'd put it, you know, a little more than half. So that's 1,200 right there. So that means what percent have we raised? So the percent is going to be X. Now, um, I'm going to show you how to use a proportion to figure this out. So we say the percent over 100, right? X is the percent. We don't know it yet. So we put X equals the part divided by the whole, like that. And then we cross multiply. So I'm going to do um, 2,000 2, times x is 2,000x. And 100 times 1,200 is going to be, 100, there we go, 120,000. And then. Uh, once we know that, well, what's happening to X? It's getting multiplied by 2,000. We need to figure out what X is. So we divide by 2,000, divide by 2,000. And we get X is equal to 60. So that means that we have raised 60%, right? Because that's in the percent location in our proportion. So we figured out, okay, we've raised 60%. Good deal. All right. Um, our last example, my Chromebook has 20 minutes of charge. It says that I have 5% charge left when my battery is fully charged. How much time does it last? Okay. So we need to figure out the part, the whole and the percent. So I know this is 0%. This is a hundred percent, right? So that's fully charged. That's not charged at all. It says I have 5% charge left. So that's going to be down here. And it says that I have 20 minutes of charge. So that means that this right here is 20 minutes. And the question is, how much time does it have when it's fully charged? And I put, you know, an X over there. Okay, so the part is 20 minutes because that's how much charge is left right now. The whole, we don't know, but the percent is five. Okay, so I set that up. Percent out of 100 equals part, which is 20 over whole, which we don't know just like that. Then we cross multiply, five times X is five X, 100 times 20 is 2000. And then we say what's, oops, this does not look like an equal sign. It needs to. Then we say, how do we figure out what X is? Well, X is being multiplied by five. So we undo that by dividing both sides by five, five divided by five is one and we get X is equal to 2000 divided by five is 400 minutes. So our answer here is 400 minutes. That would be the whole fully charged Chromebook. So notice we can find the percent, the part, the whole, we can find any missing number using a proportion. All right, thanks very much.